Well, hello, Internet. How are you doing this evening? Hopefully y'all are doing all right. I'm doing okay. I'm just uh, got done eating a little bit of food and also uh, talked to uh, Jacob earlier tonight. Uh, he, went, he came by to pick up his Xbox 360. Yeah, th 360. Not Xbox One, not Xbox Series S, not Xbox Series X, his 360. Why, you ask? Because apparently someone he knew wanted to play uh, Naughty Bear. You ever played Naughty Bear? Naughty Bear is basically a game where you as a... Uh, you, you're you in this, like, village of uh, nice, cute, little, like, teddy... You know, stuffed teddy bears. And there's one that's just different from the rest. One that's a psychopath. One that kills all the other teddy bears. Brutally. But where it's all stuffing and no blood or anything like that, it's not really gory or anything like that. It's quite disturbing, but kind of funny. Mm. And, I, uh, in all honesty, I find games like that to be mildly infuriating. Haha, <laughs> tied it in somehow. So, um, I can think of one thing that would have been mildly infuriating uh, that happened over the last week plus. If we would have driven all the way up to where we did for the eclipse and it had been like like complete overcast like no chance in hell of ever seeing the sun I'd have been mad oh I would have been peeved to say the least especially Something after that was mildly infuriating for me was that I went to pressure wash the uh, back deck and the pressure washer was broken still yeah um, I thought I'd fixed it I hadn't had a chance to test it and, yeah, that's that's my fault. I, I freely and fully admit that. <clears throat> I, but... It's just that thing was old. It was. It was very old. And, as a matter of fact, when I told Mom and Blake that it was, that it was broken, Mom was basically just like, You still got that thing? Man, I'm surprised it still works. So... It doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, te it technically does It completely doesn't. fell apart. <clears throat> yep. So instead, uh, we're going to be... Uh, we tried to use Mom's, but it's not powerful enough. So we're going to be using the one my dad uses to, like, clean off industrial equipment and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's that's what we're... I'm, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Kate's going to be taking the other... Or we're going to be taking the other one back to my mom, and Kate's going to be using that to, like, pressure wash stuff off my mom's front deck. Like the furniture, I think you said? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And the patio. Yeah. So, it's going to be going to good use. <clears throat> but that being said, in order to uh, clear off our back deck, and not only that, make it to where we can properly seal it and make it look good, uh, we, need, um, we need a little bit more of a powerful one. And, you know, dealing with these things, you know, at uh, not a hun that's not 100%, like, just on the money can be mildly infuriating. And uh, apparently there's some more mildly infuriating things that uh, the crew from MK has for us. So I think it's high time for us to just uh, jump on in and see uh, see what kind of craziness they have in store for us. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. I need an Allen key to tighten my Allen key set. I've who the hell yep. is Alan? Yep. Also, I've dealt with that. <laughs> I have dealt with that. It is a pain that's, in the that's ass. That's just fantastic. What in the world else would you possibly want me to say about that? <laughs> Forge that steel, sucks. of course. Oh, well, I guess. The way my coworker put the anti theft tag on all of the new stock. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be incredibly wow. effective. Thank goodness yeah. they were there to do their job and do it incredibly well. <laughs> I wonder how many people are actually going to notice. I found this note in the elevator at my hotel. Let's see. HVAC, renovation okay, bed bug issue. I'd be getting my money back. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. I am leaving. My new 100% blackout curtains. Isn't it great? Yeah. 100% blackout. Wow. Oh yeah, my I, god, what a joke. I call bullshit on that. That is nonsense. 
nonsense. I actually have a 100% blackout set of blinds, oh, and not blinds, it sucks because you can't really perfectly fill the window anyway, so I get light spill around the edges that's just oh so annoying. But hey, helps me get up when I need to. Oh How my sister- Look at, our boy. Look at that boy. We got him stamped just up. Oh so annoying. But hey- He looks so creepy. Helps me yeah, he stanced up outside your door just being like, Hey, you got any blackout, blackout blinds? I need some up when I need to how my sister <clears throat> stores her books okay is she crazy yeah she's insane completely insane hey wait a minute okay so I anybody down in no no I saw that people were doing that now and I was just like why why would you do that because you can't even tell what it is I don't plus I love like the artwork of books like yeah uh, on the spine I'm and everything. Purposefully collecting classics of the same from the same company, so that yeah, <laughs> when we get the bookshelf built, it'll look really nice. Yeah, agreed. Oh my god! In the comments, uh, I don't I'm, think I'm gonna, that I'm looks call good upon at all. No, that looks horrible. You're like, if I walked it messes in, with my OCD. <clears throat> if I walked in someone's house and I saw this. On their bookshelf, I'm immediately turning around and I'm walking out before I say something that offends them. Who told them that looked good? They saw, probably saw it on Etsy as probably like some new feng no, shui. It's it's how people are decorating homes now, and I'm just like, who came up with that being it's like okay? If, it's like if I if I find the person who came up with this like brilliant idea, I'm gonna literally like grab a magnifying glass and study them. Because there's no way in, like, in a sane person's mind is this logical. Do any of you store your books like this? No. no. If you do, no. can you provide a reason as to why you do? <laughs> You're joking. I'm not joking. But oh. it's clear that whoever oh. cut that loaf of bread has to be joking. Otherwise, they're actually insane. Like, yes. cuckoo, cr completely crazy. They're off their goddamn rocker. OSHA? What's that? Good question. Do not push button. People are cleaning it. You will kill them. <laughs> Is that the best we have? Is that actually the best option we have? A stupid note taped over the button? Uh, how about, a, how about like a plastic thing that like, Sh like goes over top Closes, of it like a shell yeah. Yeah. and has a locking key on it thing like a key thing that where you can't just like because someone bumping into that if it's exposed that's a possibility and I don't want to kill anybody there's no emergency oh what would you call them those casings that you usually have yes. to open yeah. before you can push the button also the fact that that's this month yeah I was looking at that too oh my god there's not at least one of those there to prevent somebody from accidentally bumping into the button that will That's kill people. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why is the people killing button so easy to push? Sharing my Easter cake with three friends. One already ate his equally and fairly share. His equally and fairly share? <laughs> No. Wait. No. Jeez. Easter cake. No. See, if this were a birthday cake and it was their birthday, damn straight, that's their fair share. Yes. Because it's their birthday. They made a Pac-Man. <laughs> my friend has a pa <clears throat> But if if I come in and, like, one of my... If I'm sharing it with, like, three other friends and one of my f friends takes that much of a portion and just leaves, I'm literally driving to their home in the middle of the night and I'm shitting on their front porch. Mm -hmm. Painting too big for the wall, like he put it on. Cake hmm. anyway, Wait. So. I like cake, all right. Just depends on the kind of cake. Too big for that wall. Are there no larger walls anywhere in this what space that that painting could yeah, go? Yeah, that's. I feel like no, 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 no. Mm -mm. They got a pool he table. He took this photo just Obviously. to piss people off, and he loved the reaction so much. He's just gonna commit to this bit. He's gonna leave it like this forever. What happens just if to somebody comes people. around the corner and like a knocks into it, and then it just falls? I don't know. <laughs> Started on this bottle of tea that says contains no alcohol on the front. <laughs> I genuinely wonder if it's because the word alcohol appears there at all. Yeah. It contains no alcohol, but I do genuinely wonder if that might be the reasoning. Oops. Which is stupid, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to think outside the box here. I get okay. I also, 
I also love the the, the umlaut. Yeah, the little umlaut thing over top of the O. It's basically just like I can't believe you bought me. Pizza got delivered with no cheese. Oh, no, for real. No. There's a special place in hell for people who do that, who who deliberately keep the cheese off. I mean, if you if you're lactose intolerant, I can understand. But but, but if you're not, and they do this to you deliberately, also the fact that he took a bite out of it, just to spite the person who made this. I'm driving back. If I if I open up my my pizza box and I see that there's no cheese on my pizza, I am driving. Oh, it would back. be pep would be pepperoni. <laughs> exactly. I'm driving back, and I'm literally just like, why is there no cheese on my pizza? Hold on, sir. All of a sudden, you go in the back and you just see like the the dude who made the pizza is in the freezer, just like doing whippets with like the friggin' uh. <clears throat> with like the um, uh, whipped cream. Oh. You ever do, you ever seen people do whippets? I don't know what that is. Whip. It's basically you hold the thing upside down to where like the air that the compressed air that's in the bottom. Basically, mm -hmm. if you inhale enough of that and hold it in, it gets you high. Yeah, I I ran across plenty of idiots doing that in the freezer whenever I was working in fast food. What? I always came back there and I was just like, Tony, what the hell are you doing? He's just like, nothing, man. Just I'm on my break. I'm like, your break was an hour ago. He's like, for real? All right. Gets up and goes back to work and just stumbles the whole way through. Oh, my God. How the hell do you forget cheese? It, this is from Domino's, right? It looks like it's from yeah, Domino's. Yeah, it is. How does this happen, though? This seems like such a unique, purposeful thing. Forgetting the cheese on a pizza. Poor designing. Yeah, that's, to put it mildly, oh. poor designing. Mm. Whew, 2012. You guys remember that? You guys remember that mass hysteria? I do. Oh, God. Yeah. The tattoo my friend got. Oh, no, not a tattoo one. Always forward. <laughs> <laughs> forward. Wow. <laughs> that, <laughs> Why didn't you spell check that? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, I feel like there's a way to fix this. Uh, I do feel like there's a way. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like this isn't the end of the world. No. There's got to be a way. <laughs> oh, God. Your tattoo artist screwed up. What do you do? Do you go to your tattoo artist and go, I'm sorry, dude. You did great, but you misspelled a word on my body, so I need you to fix it for free or give me my money back. What's the appropriate response, tattoo artist of the world? You could just go color in the bottom. Yeah. And just like do another like do a like another ribbon underneath it or something. I don't know. There's something he could do. Green, they said. Okay. Wow. Oh. Why is this legal? Oh. And before what? you say it's not bullshit, because they all do this all the time. Every goddamn package. Yep. Like they, they no do. Way. On vacation in Orange Beach, Alabama, and was admiring a local heron. Heron? It's heron, not heron. heron. Or crane, and some asshole dings him with a football. <gasps> wow. Okay. I feel like the majority of us uh, who are, you know, normal hey. people, if we ever see somebody do that, uh, we should kick their ass. Yeah. We should kick their ass and yeah. uh, make sure that they're not welcome at that beach. I remember there was a guy who, like, there was this, uh, I remember there was this, this cat that was like hanging out by the field house and there was a guy who was like off like <clears throat> like a bunch of the guys were like looking at the cat and everything and one guy walked up to it and he like nudged it with his foot and like you know just like nudged it and then the cat like you know like play swatted at his foot and then he kicked the cat against the fence at the back dude i'll tell you most of the jocks on the team were assholes they weren't that day. Mm. That dude got slammed on his head by one of the dude by one of the defensive linemen. Good. Got picked up and just like dropped on his head on like solid concrete. And I remember the guy was like, "What? What would you do that for?" And I remember hit the you know the guy who did it. He was just like he was just like you don't fucking do that shit, man. There is a designated place in hell for people who hurt animals. Yeah. 
And they that would be a cool photo though. If somebody photoshopped the football out of it. Yeah, that'd be and great. Centered the bird. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, like right there, just a little bit. Move the shadow over a little bit too. Damn, that'd be a good pick. For the day. No, get the fuck out. Recently added speed humps on my street. This is how they painted the warning on the road. Hum ups. <laughs> <laughs> Mups. <laughs> Guarantee the person. Yeah, I, I, whoops. I was like, <laughs> I was going to say that's from now on. Whatever the street name is, it doesn't matter anymore. That now, that street is now Mups Street. <laughs> Mups Street. It's like, like no, no, that's Carter Avenue. No, it isn't. Look at the fucking name on the road, Mups Street. That's exactly what this place is called now. And don't you dare say otherwise. Thank you. I my Mups. My Mups. My Mups. My Mups. My lovely lady. Oh, okay, Mups. shut up. <laughs> I'm very prepared for the speed hum ups on the road coming up ahead. <laughs> Bathroom mirror broke and was replaced with this. Oh boy. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. God. Where was I the love original stained glass, mirror? But that one do, that just looks really tacky. That is extremely tacky. Er it looks like you're too tall in general, man. <laughs> wow. Oh man, they really put absolutely zero effort into that. They just hung it by the loose chain and sat it on the sink. Tried to take a picture of the sun, but the moon was in the way? Oh, that's so That's cool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> hold the phone. They did do a good job with the picture. Yeah. That's that's almost one to one like the Yeah. That's exactly the same kind of one the the red solar flare on the bottom and everything. Like that's exact to like the one we took. Hmm. I wonder. Cuz here's the thing. Do posted uh posted like he was like in the vicinity of the eclipse. And I posted, hey, man, we got some pics, too. Check these out. And he's like, dude, these look awesome. Mine looks like absolute booty hole. I'm like, stop it. And then, basically, I, if someone stole my picture off of off Twitter, I'm going to be pissed. Ducks, man. I'm sorry. That actually you know, does look just <laughs> like your photo. <laughs> yes, it does. I mean, I mean, one to one. Like, like I, yeah, that, that's almost exactly... That's almost exact. That's terrifying. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't someone else who could have well, got a picture sure just that, like uh, it. Yeah. But still, it's eerily similar in terms of just like how everything is. Actually, what are the odds? Neapolitan. Oh, please. Oh. oh <laughs> no. <wow. laughs> no. I'm returning that to the store and I'm getting me a tub of chocolate and a tub of vanilla. Fuck all that strawberry bullshit. <laughs> Oh man, that yeah, that's pretty pathetic. That is pretty pathetic. But hey, honestly, who gives a shit? That's okay. I wasn't planning on using the walking path. He said sarcastically. Oh, what? It, uh, okay, sure, man. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the picky one. This went on longer than I cared to share. Want to get something to eat? I'm bored and need to do something. I'm cool with that. Where at? I'm not picky. Want to try that new taco place? Uh, tacos aren't the vibe right now. Want to just go to Uno's then? Not feeling them. I'm out of ideas then. You pick. You're the picky one. Just no. That's not how that works. Just pick. I'm just fine with whatever. <laughs> okay, we're going he to... He picked two. The person picked two. Yeah, it's like, okay then. We're going to Uno's. I don't want to go. You said pick whatever. I'm going there. You can join if you want to. You know what you do with someone like this? You go, cool, we're trying the new taco place. I don't give a shit about your vibes. You don't get to say, <laughs> hey, I'll do anything. Yeah, I'm not picky. Then I guess you aren't doing anything. Jesus. Right now. And then deny the literal first two suggestions. <laughs> Screw you, dude. Agreed. The amount of plastic for this eye bomb. Hmm. What? Whoa. Oh. Is that a Sam's or a Costco? You don't need that much plastic to cover the... Mm. Ow. <laughs> that is next level pathetic. No, seriously, it is. You go Please. ahead and try to excuse the amount of blister packaging around a tiny little box. 
Go ahead. Try to justify. There is no justification. They probably this dude's car, hoping... arm in the leg. That's probably why they put it in that. Probably, but at the same time, dude, just it's put so it inside of like a security cool. case or something. Yeah. Like that's what they do for the razor blades. I mean, heck, when I used to buy, well, I still do buy razor. I, I still have my like straight razor and everything, but back when I used to buy razor blades, they started putting them inside of security cases because people were stealing them so often. Hoping he will buy a single screw for his license plate, and each day he lets me down. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow! Yeah, you know he's never gonna do it. No. He's just never gonna do it as long as it holds on. He doesn't give a crap. Although when it comes to the license plate, I personally would give more of a kit just to be safe. Little League hired yeah. professional photographer. Yeah, that that's not right at all. Actually, no. hey, remember? No. Like, look at all the, like, look at the creases. Those are going to look like absolute dog shit. Those are going to look like absolute Why ass. Why not just take the pictures outside? That's what we always did. Like, they had, like, they put, like, a white, uh, like, soft box in front of us, and then they had the flash, they had the flashers up above it. And, and those pictures came out looking great. They put the sun at, like, at, like, our side, and they made it to where we got a good profile. Professional just denotes whether or not you're getting paid. And this guy is clearly getting paid. It looks like there's, you know, a semblance of quality going on here. They're trying. I just wish that they would hang up that backdrop properly because it's wrinkly and ugly as hell. Yes. And it's half-ass done to the stars. <laughs> wow, that sucks. This shampoo bottle pisses me off more than it should. Why make a section blue if it's not going to be separate? Oh, yeah, that's a slightly odd design. Oh. That's not the sort of thing that's going to get my Jimmy's rustled, no, but, but I can see how annoying. it annoys some people. <laughs> yeah, that is a lie. Ordered a shrimp cocktail. Well, there's your first mistake, dude. Th what? Huh? No, no, no. How much did you mm -hmm. pay for this? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Seriously, how much did you pay for this? If it was more than, uh, I would say, 12 cents then you got completely robbed. The yes. other 90% of the sink is just for show, I guess. I can't wash my hands without putting them against the sides of the sink. Oh, it's one of these. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. one of these. That's cool. I no. I hate for, that. <laughs> for, for, these, for these like this, I need one of those faucets that, like, moves up and, like, moves out into the middle. I need one of those. Because if, if you don't want to have it here because I just want to be different. Okay, fine. But don't have just a little lip one here that barely goes over into the sink. It's not sanitary. It's stupid. I suppose. They never think this crap out, do they? No, I'd they like don't. Add... Oh, it's new postmodern design. No, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. Dumb design. Period. This person is talking loudly on the phone. Huh. So they see public transit as their space. Yep. Not, you know, the space we all pay taxes to have. Get your nasty goddamn feet off the fucking seat and <laughs> shut the hell up. You are not Agreed. the king of the transit, douchebag. My dad <laughs> used this spatula as a poop knife. Did people really adopt that? Did people really seriously adopt the poop knife strategy? That's... Poop knife is basically just like, you know, uh... For the love of God, tell me you're not really doing that. It just, ah, uh, that's just disgusting. Yeah, it basically, um, it's to break up the poo. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Get some help. For real. This kid's teaching flashcard. Animal, octopus. Wrong. You are that wrong. That is a squid. <laughs> you hilarious, dubious little fool. You what are incorrect. Wait, okay, when the education cards are getting it wrong now, you know we have gone down in like one of the darkest timelines. Because this shit just ain't right. That, as a matter of fact, would be, Stephen, this convenient <laughs> the squid, opening. Yeah, Stephen, oh, the yeah, that's... Well, they're just organized incorrectly in there. That. I don't think it's the open... Throat cut, throat coat... No, I wonder why they make the opening. Oh, yeah, the... What, what you're supposed to make the opening. I always open it from the top because you can never get the tea bags out. Yeah, it... My guess is it's just they thought... They thought, oh, uh, we don't want to have it, like, up to where the, the bags can just slip out. It's like, but we can't get them out. 
Well, that's your problem. <laughs> also, I read this as throat cut. Opening that's um. the problem. I, I don't know why the T is incorrectly, what's the word? Not formatted. You know what I'm trying to say. I just don't know words. Me no smart man, me no few words. Also, we have got to stop calling these T's throat coat. This tile... Because some idiot may come along and misread it as throat cut, like I did. In my building's entrance, there's always a tile. There's always uh, a tile, man. Yep. I see it. And I don't like it. I, 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 I oh, 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 that, mm, mm, just, just, just pop it up, turn it that way. There we go. It's fixed. It's fixed. But no. We can't have that now, can we? And drives me crazy too. Why? Tried to make a smiling Mickey Mouse waffle. Well, there's your first problem. <laughs> <laughs> to recreate a Mickey Mouse waffle while not being at Disneyland or Disney World. <laughs> you knew it was going to end up bad. Yeah, I think the. Uh, I, I think I see where you went wrong here. Uh, you. You used strawberries like that. That doesn't really make a smile unless you cut them up into little itty bitty pieces. You f***ed it up. Bruh. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, no actual no. goddamn If Nick... Uh, here's the thing. It, Bruh. Are these the ones... No. These look like the ones that I get from Sheets for Nick. If Nick opened this up and saw this inside of it, there would not be a soul on this earth that would be safe from his wrath. <laughs> I'm not joking. Nick will go full, like, Cthulhu mode and just, like, devour everything. Okay, hold on. Uh, no actual goddamn way. Like, I really hope that people that are posting these are indeed going back to where they bought them and going, are you goddamn kidding me? Because you should. You should be. You shouldn't experience this and go, eh, well, whatever, and just deal with it. No, no, no. I really hope that you're going back. Give me a replacement. This is ridiculous. Yeah, agree. Uh, well, there were some in there that were, in fact, mildly infuriating. I will give it that. And the fact that some of these things are legal is still, like, crazy to me. Like, the fact that they can deliberately show you, like, hey, there's, like, these patties in here. And then you assume, like, oh, the right. package the must be filled. <laughs> no. Instead, no. De mm. Or, like, chip bags. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Those things, you open it up, they're basically like 40% air. It used to not be that way. No! It was... It, oh, my gosh. I remember when a king-sized bag of Doritos, king-sized, was $3.29, and it was full. Like, all the way to the top, full. There was barely any air at the top. There was a little bit just so you could open the package. That's it. Oh, not only that, but they didn't have those bent-in corners of the package that when you open it now, uh, it has a risk of tearing open, like, down the side of the bag. Hmm. And now like, it, it... Oh, anger. Just, just... <laughs> un, un, just. They charge more now for less. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. All the time. It is, it is a common thing. Ugh. Well, I got nothing else to add to this. This was picks that should be illegal, r slash mildly infuriating. They definitely were infuriating to, certain, to a certain degree. So anyway, that's going to do it. So until next time, everybody, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.